Hey Marvel fans, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Name, and this is The Nerdy Lair. And I gotta get straight to it. Doctor Doom is coming to the MCU. It's basically confirmed, and we are getting the GOAT in the MCU in the coming months. And this has been a long time coming. A lot of us comic book fans and just hardcore nerds have been waiting for the iconic arrival of Doctor Doom in the MCU. Because he's a very popular, very iconic character already. And he's very beloved in the comic book community and really outside the comic book community because Dr. Doom is very popular. But when you look at this concept art, this like leaked photo, he looks so good. Like he looks like care has been put into his costume, into his design. And most importantly, he looks like what Dr. Doom should look like. He looks like He's ripped from the comics exactly, almost, basically. And I think during a very turbulent phase four, getting this Doctor Doom leak is exactly what the doctor ordered. And I think that if they pull out Cillian Murphy or whoever's casted, it's not a confirmed casting yet, at San Diego Comic-Con or they announce at D23, preferably San Diego Comic-Con because it'd be hyper, pull them out on stage, the place will go crazy. If Doctor Doom is revealed at San Diego Comic Con, like he comes out, maybe not in full garb because that'd be ridiculous. But he comes out, he maybe shows off his Doom voice a little bit. That could be really, really cool, and it could be insane. But getting into the meat and potatoes of it, there's a description under like the Reddit post for this like concept art, and it says that Doom is gonna have his cape, like his throne. He's gonna have the works. He's gonna be Doom, like. Fully and truly, and that's amazing. That's music to my ears. Because it was speculation whether Doom would actually be in the post credit scene of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Because if you've been following leaks, a lot of people have saying like Doom is either going to be teased or, or if he's actually going to show up in the post credit scene. It hasn't been clear up to this point. But this basically confirms that, no, it's going to be Doom. It's going to be there. It's going to be crazy. And this goes on to say, and this is the really, really important part, that he's been behind things think of claw and birch now claw he's been trying to get vibranium like panther age of ultron we know that pretty straightforward makes sense for what doom is most likely going to be doing in this movie but the one that really intrigues me and perked my ears up was birch because if you know birch you know the benefactor and if you know the benefactor this has been a long running thing in mcu since ant-man just forever like this is just a thing we've been wanting to know who the benefactor is and if you've been following leaks you know that at some point truly norman osborne was supposed to be the benefactor the oscorp tower was going to be there it was removed from avengers they wanted norman osborne to be the benefactor now what most likely happened they couldn't get him from sony because sony has the rights we all know this so Kevin Feige, with his smart, smart self, he did the next best thing. Instead of replacing him with Justin Hammer, who is cool but isn't Doom, he's going to replace him with the man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Doom. And when I think of Dr. Doom in the Norman Osborn role during Dark Reign and during Secret Invasion, him coming out and being like an Iron Man or like the new savior, just being the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D., Killing the Scroll Queen. I could see Doctor Doom doing all of this in the MCU and literally just kind of absorbing that storyline from the comics into Doom's mythos. There's a whole mystic side you could do with Doom that like nobody even really talks about. Like he's a crazy good sorcerer. I mean, the things you could do with Mephisto and his mom and like that realm, crazy stuff. And it could be really cool and things like Midnight Suns, future Doctor Strange stuff, and future stuff with maybe Wanda. And then, of course, you got the Secret War stuff. I mean, that's where I know Doom. That's my favorite Doom is God King Doom. And you could do something like that. Maybe he's just a part of it. He's not like the guy who saves the multiverse and fights the Beyonders. And it's just him and Reed at the end of time fighting it out. I don't know if they're going to do that exactly. But I do think him and Reed, Dr. Doom and Reed Richards, will be a big part of Secret Wars going forward. And I'm just really excited. I can't wait. I think we're getting some big things in the MCU coming forward, and I'm just truly, truly ecstatic. I can't wait, and I think that we're about to have us a really good Phase 5. If you agree or disagree, leave opinions down below. Peace out.